Hi there! So we're talking about the beach till this week, so I wanted to share with you one last book on beach and then share something that you all can find on the beach. So the book is called Life at the Beach. These are words you need to know for the book. Beach, clam, crab, snail, see a snail and on the back of the snail is a shell I see a clam this is another different type of shell I see a crab and the other day we talked about hermit crabs but this is just a sand crab no shell on him I see a fish if you go in the water close to the edge, you might see some fish in the ocean. I see a seal. You won't see seals in our ocean, but if you go to Maine, maybe, or uh, Washington, D.C., not Washington, D.C., state of Washington, I see bird, a bird. And there are lots of different kind of birds that you will see at the beach. I see the beach. So now I would like to share with you my favorite thing to do at the beach is to collect seashells. So when you go to the beach, this is probably what you see. A lot of broken shells. You got to dig deep to find a whole shell. This shell is called a mussel and it's real pretty on the inside. Sometimes you can find them together. Depending on which beach you're at, you might find some butterflies. And sometimes you can find them together. There'd be two of them to make like a butterfly wing. Sometimes you just find those. Then, let me show you. This is called a whelk. And this is a really big whelk shell. And there, this is like a snail is in here. Not the hermit crab, not the crab. The snail would be wrapped up in there. Here's a little whelk. And just to show you, this is whelk, baby, baby, baby whelks. I don't know if you can see those or not. And they come from the egg case. So the whelks lay these cases. And you might find these on the beach and think, what are they? But if you shake it, you can hear the shaking, and if you open them up, let me see if I can find one that I can open for you. You open it up inside, you'll find little seashells that are baby whelks. There they are, and they don't look like nothing hardly at all, but those are baby whelks. That's their shell. They don't shed their shell when they grow. They just keep growing, and the shell will just keep growing, and they just get bigger with it. It's one of my best finds. There's also different type of shells. I don't know the name of this one, but it's another one that would have a, a, a snail in it. And then... This one was cut open so that you could see. They just wrapped their bodies inside like that, around. So here would be the outside, and they'd wrap around and around in their shell. Then I have some oyster type shells. Not so pretty, but inside they're shiny. And this is a slipper. And it's called a slipper because of, if you can see, there's a little half way it. it's like a little slipper shoe and on this slipper are little uh, hmm? help me barnacles barnacles that's the word barnacles so little people little bugs or sea creatures make little lot houses on them and shares the house these you wouldn't think are shells either, but these are called fingernail shells. And they just get long. You'll find those sticking up. And a moon shell. 
I found that one in Miami. This would be a hermit crab shell. Your moon shell would be a hermit crab shell. This one might be a hermit crab shell. Don't know the name, but it's just pretty. And then you have some clam shells. So you would have two of them and there would be an animal inside of here, like a mussel. And you got clams and these kind of clams. And if you find these, you could always paint these and make these look pretty and hang them up. And you have your scallops that are pretty. And you'll find these, all these kind of like that double, but they match. They would be symmetrical, same on both sides. And then I have found, if you can see, this is a starfish or a sea star. And I just put, this is in a, a hard casing. It was alive, but I wanted just to have it. So if we were in school, you guys would be able to play with that. And this is a sand dollar. And in the sand dollar, if you break it open, if you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five. Five little doves. Same as the a starfish. Five in the middle of the sand dollar. So, so those are just some shells. That, this is what I like to do when I go to the beach, is collect seashells. So, I hope you have fun. I hope you have a good summer. And if you go to the beach, remember, don't get the broken ones. Look for the big ones. Those are the good ones. Bye.